So now we're on to question seven. So this is uh, three different factors of 20. So I've got factors, I like factories, and they make things. So one times 20 would give me 20. Uh, two times 10 gives me 20. So that's a factor, they're both factors of 20. And four times five gives me 20. So they're all factors of 20. So now I've just got to pick any, I've got six factors written down. I just need to pick any three of them. So I'm going to go one, two, and four. But or any combination of those numbers, they would be correct. All right, this one. So I know angles around a point, about a point, um, add to 360 degrees. So I know that a full circle makes 360 degrees. So I know that if I've got x plus 50, that gets me to 360 degrees. So I'm going to think, right, what do I need to add to 50 to get me to 360 degrees? I need to undo that, add 50, so I'm going to take away 50, and that's going to give me 310 degrees. Done. A student says an angle of 50 degrees is an obtuse angle. The student is wrong. Explain why. Well, um, let's just draw myself a little picture. So I've got this thing here. That's 90 degrees. If I've got something smaller than that, it's only little. So l small things, like babies and kittens, are cute. So if it's small, it's cute. So if it's a small angle, like one under 90 degrees, um, that is acute. Yeah. So when I think about a small angle, um, and that means less than 90 degrees, so if I've got um, an angle less than 90 degrees, it is acute angle. Right, this one, write down the coordinates of B. So I always start at the origin, zero, zero. And if I want to get to B, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the right, and then I go 2 units up. So my coordinate would be 5, 2. I plot the point with coordinate 4, negative 2. So again, I'm going to start the origin. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, and 2 down. And that will get me to point C. And write down the coordinates of the midpoint of AB. Right Now, I can see, if I'm trying to visualise where the middle of this line is, it's, it's here. If you struggle to visualise it, well, imagine how far down this thing goes. It goes two squares down. One, two squares down. So if I want to go halfway, I only want to go one square down. So that's why I've got that point there. Um, the coordinates of that point, again, from the origin, one to the right, and three up. And last one, draw the line with equation y equals negative four. Now, I always get a bit confused by this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some points where my y value is negative 4. So I'm going to pick the point 3, negative 4, because my y value is negative 4. And then I'm going to pick another point where my y value is negative 4. So I'm going to pick 0, negative 4. And I'm going to pick another point where my y value is negative 4. Um, I'm going to pick negative 5, negative 4. Now if I plot, it doesn't matter which point you plot, uh, pick there, but I just know that my y value is always negative 4. If I plot those points, I've got 3, negative 4, I've got 0, negative 4, and I've got negative 5, negative 4. All of those things have got something in common. The y value is always negative 4. So that's why that line is called y equals negative 4.